Okay, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics, really interesting challenge today, quick challenge and relaxing algebra challenge. 16 to the x equal to 2 square root of 2, what is our x? Right here we need to find this x and uh, what do you think, how can we solve this question? Write your suggestion in the comment, pause the video and write your suggestion in the comment section. Also thank you for your support, if it's not hard to you please leave a like, write any comment, it helps me, it keeps my channel alive, it inspires me a lot to make a new content. So thank you and let's, let's solve this. First of all, it's really great to work with the same basis. So we have two, it's, we have like square root of two, so we can uh, somehow like create this two. But this 16, how can we create two from this 16? How can we express this 16 with the base of two? Of course, we know that two cube equal to eight, two square equal to four, and two to the fourth power equal to 16. So let's write this 16 as two to the power four. So we have two to the power four and two to the power x, yeah, equal to, 2 times, as I told before, let's write not square root, let's write with the power, so let's write it in, a, if in a, somehow in a fraction way, so we have 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 1 half, so we can write it in this way, and it not will be a mistake when we write it in this way, so we just change nothing, we just express these values in another way. Okay, right now we need to know a really great rule, so if, if we have like a to the power x raised to the power y, we will have like a to the power x times y which is really great for us, because right here we can easily apply this rule, so we have 2 to the power 4x, okay, 2 to the power 4x equal to, and right here we have really great rule as well, we have like a to the power x times a to the power y. If you multiply it, if you have multiplication right here, we can add our, our powers, so we have like x plus y. And let's apply this rule right here, so this one right here and this one right here. So we applied it as well and we have 2 to the power, so right here we have like imaginary 1, we don't we don't see it also, but we have it, so 1 plus 1 half, okay? 1 plus 1 plus 1 half. Okay, so 2 to the power 4x, 2 to the power 1 plus 1 half, which is really great. And uh, if you know a little bit about algebra, you know that if we have the same basis, we can easily write an equation with our exponent, or in the another way, if we have the same exponent, we can write an equation with our basis. But if we have like the same uh, basis, we can easily uh, write an equation with our exponent. If we have the same powers, we'll have, the, of course, uh, equality all the time. So we have 4x equal to 1 plus 1 half. So 4x equal to 1 plus 1 half. Okay, 4x equal to 1 plus 1 half, we know it, 1 plus 1 half, it looks like 1.5 or 3 half, so we have 4, 4x equal to 3, 3 half. How can we find our x? Of course, let's divide both sides by 4, and we have our x, let's divide both sides by 4, from here we cancel this from the left hand side, and right here we will have it, yeah, we divided both sides by 4, so we have 3 over 8, 3 over 8. It is our answer to this question. Very great question to practice your power rules, to practice your knowledge, because right here we have a really great, two really great, maybe the main power rules all the time. We we quite question with this, with this uh, power, with this uh, uh, rules, so with this one and with this one. So it's like a really great, quick and relaxing question. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, thank you for your support. If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment, and uh, it helps me a lot. It keeps my channel alive, and uh, it inspires me a lot also. So thank you for your time, and have a great day.